The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. Vitamin D is a required vitamin for the absorption of calcium. Calcium and phosphorus are the key minerals used by our bodies for bone formation, bone growth, and tissue development. In the lack of calcium absorption, possibly contributed to a decline in vitamin D intake, the result can be limited bone formation. Our bodies can make vitamin D from direct exposure of our skin to the ultraviolet rays from the sun. Thus, vitamin D is called the sunshine vitamin. There are few natural sources of vitamin D in our foods. Therefore, many foods have been fortified with vitamin D. The primary sources are dairy products, including milk, cheese and butter, and then also many breakfast cereals have been fortified. The natural sources of vitamin D occur in fatty fish such as tuna, mackerel, and salmon, and also you can naturally find vitamin D in eggs and oysters. Vitamin D deficiency in children is called rickets. In the adult population, we call it osteomalacia. Osteomalacia can present itself as bone tenderness, muscle weakness, and an increased risk for bone fractures. The recommended dietary requirement for vitamin D in children from the age of one up into adulthood, age 70, is 15 micrograms per day or 600 international units. For the aging population above the age of 71, that requirement increases to 20 micrograms per day or 800 international units. The populations at risk for vitamin D deficiency include the elderly, the homebound, those that work during the night and rarely go out during the day. So in general, those at risk are individuals with relatively little exposure to sunlight. Vitamin D supplementation. The most accurate way to measure your vitamin D concentration is through a blood serum test. If you are in one of the populations that may be at risk for vitamin D deficiency, talk with your primary care physician about this simple blood test and based on the results, the need or not for vitamin supplementation. Vitamin D is one of our fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins can be stored by our body and excess can be toxic. Water-soluble vitamins such as vitamin C, are not stored by the body and any excess is eliminated. For further information about vitamin D or other vitamins, minerals, and nutrients required by our bodies to maintain health and wellness, please contact our healthcare coordinators at 865 305-6970 and schedule an appointment with one of our registered dietitians. We hope you'll join us for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.